You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Black and white sports fans, we are back together here with another video. Rhodes is in the house, and uh, we're going to be talking uh, the NBA in China. As you guys know, we call them the Marxist NBA in China for a reason, right, Rhodes? That is correct. Um, I believe we have uh, maybe some audio or something like that uh, for the uh, black and white sports supporters, but uh, we shouldn't be surprised that we're getting a little something involving the NBA and China. They make billions of dollars off the backs of slave labor. Let's just keep it yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. So, the, the Uyghurs so, over so, there in north uh, northwest China. So does concentration LeBron. Concentration camps. Le yep. Let's not let's not forget LeBron. Oh, no, yeah, de definitely, definitely. Uh, but uh, you guys remember Ennis Cancer Freedom, who played with the Boston Celtics. Remember, he had those uh, shoes. Uh, that were anti-China shoes that he was wearing during the game. And he said that the NBA told him that he had to take off those shoes. They wanted him to take them off. He refused to do it. And uh, he still wore them. He's been pretty vocal about being anti-China. But the NBA does not like that at all. It should be noted, he's blackballed. You notice he's not on a team? Not on a team, yeah. Season's uh, over, of course, but he's not on the team. Season's over. He he uh, could not find another team. Just just one year removed from essentially a averaging a double double. So he's yeah, a 11 and eleven. He's a valuable player, and but there's a reason he's not in the league right now. Absolutely, Colin yeah. Kaepernick. This is what Black Ball looks like, actually. Yeah, for real. This time, now, guys. When it comes to the NBA in China now, we have confirmation now. They're in bed with China because, folks, we have some leaked audio here. And we're going to play the audio. You guys can see this here on our kick. NBA executives caught bowing to China in leaked audio obtained by Tucker Carlson tonight of Fox News. So this is the audio clip here. Not Clay Travis there. But we have confirmation that they are pro-China. And if you speak out against China, they got a problem with that. But it's okay to criticize the United States, right? That's yeah. okay to do. You know, the, yeah, it's it's fine to uh, put Marxist organizations literally branding all over your court. That, that is okay. Right. It is also It's also fine to wear said organization's T-shirts on your person, onto your NBA court. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's just and, fine. And Rhodes has not heard this audio. I haven't listened to the whole thing here, but let's go ahead and start rolling this clip here. And as Cantor Freedom was raised in Turkey, moved to the U.S. as a teenager, then became an NBA player. Then he began openly criticizing the Chinese government. He wore shoes that said Free Tibet, which China occupies, and he wore them on the court. So normally the NBA encourages political messages. They even wrote BLM on the court, but criticizing China is absolutely unacceptable to the sleazeballs who run the NBA. This show has obtained exclusive recordings proving what's going on. Here's Ron Klempner, who's the general counsel of the National Basketball Players Association. Listen. So I got up the phone with the general counsel of the NBA, and he wants to now have a conversation about the, his, their concern right now is not so much what you are saying off the court, but what it is that you're saying on the court when you step onto the court. Wow. What? Th th think about this. What? They allowed Marxism on the court. They allowed players to openly criticize the United States on the NBA's time. They allowed political messaging everywhere. Are they serious right now? Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Shit on America. That's fine. But don't you dare say a word about China. 
unbelievable. Yeah, you hey. got the words right here. It says it's not that uh, what you're saying off the court, but what it is you are saying on the court. When they allowed all these players in that bubble to kneel for the national anthem, disrespect the country, and tell you how horrible this country was. Rose, refresh my memory. Yeah. Didn't the Milwaukee Bucks actually not play a game on the NBA's time because of a criminal Jacob Blake? That's correct. A guy that was reaching down to literally pull a knife on a police officer. The police officer was protecting his own life and the life of a woman and some children. But the NBA decided they weren't going to play some playoff games. I think they were playoff games that they decided they were going to boycott over a criminal. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And what he was saying, of course, was critical of China. Mark Lazary, a close friend of Bill Clinton's, now co-owns the Milwaukee Bucks. Lazary explained in another recording that China will not do business with the NBA if athletes criticize China in any way. And the NBA makes billions of dollars in China. So Mark Lazary obeys. Listen. China's taking a very aggressive stance, mm -hmm. which is, hey, you want to about us? You're out. Yeah. Right? Which is, I, I get it. There's nothing. It's business. So their view is, look, you want to be in our country, you want to do things. If you're going to complain about us, you're not allowed. So what happens for the NBA is the NBA is in a box. It's business. It's business. Yeah, I'll sell out our country to our main global enemy that seeks to displace us and control us. It's just business beneath contempt. Then there's Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner. He acknowledged that, quote, the free Tibet shoes don't break rules, but they upset China. And once again, that's bad for business. So Nets part of it is um, Adam Silver talking to Ennis Cantor Freedom here. Uh, hey, let, let us, as we get ready to listen to this clip, let me read this to you right quick. ESPN examined the investments of 40 principal owners and found that they collectively have more than $10 billion tied up in China. Just keep that in mind while you're getting ready to consume this. Yep. Let's roll the next part of this. You're not breaking any rule in terms of the shoes. There's no rule I'm aware of that you're violating now. But, I, to me, it, you know, I think it's also, look, at the end of the day, we're also a business it's just business. So what wouldn't they do? Sell drugs to children? I mean, like what? Human trafficking? It's just business. No okay, if he's not breaking any rules, then why are you bringing it up? Yeah. Remember, why, why are we having this conversation right now? Yeah, remember, Ennis said the NBA came to him and wanted him to take off those shoes. And now you got Ad Adam Silver on audio now. Pretty much saying, hey, we're business. We don't want to offend China. Wow. Problem. So, no, go ahead. And his freedom has. Go ahead. Do you think it's fair to say, and all I can use is the words allegedly, but do you think it's fair to say that there's been a conversation between Adam Silver and NBA either owners and or GMs about the idea of not letting this guy come back onto an NBA court because of what he has come out and said about China? Ooh, collusion. I'm mm. just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because they're making it clear, this hurts our brand. Not doing business with communist China. That's not the part that you think looks bad in public perception. But it's Enos Cantor speaking out against human rights issues in a communist country right now. That's the thing that makes your business look bad. Okay. Judging by your ratings, that's not the thing making your business look bad. It's not. Yep. Yeah. There's a problem with all of this. He joins us tonight. And this is great to see you. And I appreciate your coming back. So they just say it out loud, like whatever makes them rich, including selling out to the Chinese government, pretending China's not occupying Tibet. No problem. First of all, thank you for having me, Mr. Carlson. I mean, corrupt NBA is finally got exposed. And this is the evidence of how 100% how American-made com company is run by the Chinese dictatorship. And wake up, America. This is the league that you have been supporting and watching. And enough is enough. And this is unacceptable. They are mad because finally someone from the inside that I played 11 years in this league have finally exposed them. And I'm saying it again, enough is enough. Stop falling down to dictatorships. 
That's right. It, and it's, it's the only American sport. It was invented at a YMCA in Springfield, Massachusetts. What about, what about all the woke sports writers who are constantly on the lookout for someone saying the wrong thing? Has any, have any of them taken your side in this? Uh, well, I will just say this, you know, when I started to, to talk about these uh, problems for the first time, one of the actually uh, players reached out to me and said, listen, there's no one going to be behind you, especially the media, because they are run by the NBA. So do not have any, any hope by the sports and media. What? You know, I didn't. You know what? This was the right thing to do. And I went out there and exposed it all. So I'm, I'm glad I did it. Trust me. Yeah, where, where's Bill Simmons? He's a deeply good person. So we just got this statement from the NBA about one of the recordings, and, I, and I, I want to read it to you. Quote, Adam Silver made it clear that we support players, including Mr. Freedom, expressing their views on matters that are important to them, end quote. How do you respond to that disingenuous statement? <laughs> well, well, the recording said uh, something different. You know, I'm just, it's just sad to see how these people still can lie to American people. How can they bow down to these dictatorships? They will care about social justice until it affects their money and business, business. You know, NBA pretends to care about social justice in America, but when that affects their business, they're silent. And if, and if any player that goes out there says anything about it, they're gonna do everything they can to silence you. Look, listen, I'm 30 years old and they're pushing me to retire of age of 30 and I am not retiring. I'm gonna fight till the, the, that I get come get back to that league again and keep exposing them. And um, that's why I just can't take this anymore. We're rooting for you. And it's freedom. Great to see you tonight. Thank you. There you have it. There you have it. Busted okay. on audio. Okay. We're talking about a league that is, and I just looked it up, 72, uh 74.2% black players. Communist China hates black people. Okay, I'm just keeping it real. We they did video. We did videos during 2020. They were telling they had signs that said no black people allowed in McDonald's in Wuhan, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Adam Silver, you're selling out your own black players by being in bed with China, and LeBron James. Since you want to run your mouth about race so much. You're selling out all of your black players in your league by continuing to do business with China and condoning this. So I really don't want to hear anything about race coming out of that dude's mouth. And that's why we fry him so much. Because we see the hypocrisy in how he's doing his business. Okay? He doesn't care about America. Oh, I can't go play in the Olympics. I've got to go promote Space Jam 2 in China. In China. Which, by the way, didn't get shown over there. Nope. And I do believe it lost, lost money because of it. I mean, it's amazing to me. I, I know some of these players are smarter than this. By the way, I hope Enos Cantor, you know what I hope happens? I hope he goes plays in the big three. Go play for Ice Cube. Go play for Ice Cube. I promise you. A lot of people will are ready to support that league even more than they're already supporting it right now. I mean, look, the 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 big three's already out out outdrawing the WNBA. There's a place there for that business. Yeah, we are outdrawing the WNBA. <laughs> that's true. You got a point. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy, guys, that's pretty much it. The NBA on Lee Audio kowtowing, bending and knee to China. They want no criticism whatsoever of the Marxist, Leninist, Maoist over there in China because, because it's all about money to them. What do you guys think of this? Anything else to add to this, Rhodes? Uh, I do not. Uh, the, the, the pattern is full. The book is... Uh, this chapter is closed, but the book is not written on this. We are not done with the NBA by a long shot. So, yeah. there we go. So, they have it, guys. Man, the NBA has fallen so much. I don't know if it'll ever come back. I really don't. But I, I used to love it, John. I used to love too. the NBA. Yeah. Me too, man. I mean, it was my second favorite sport for many, many, many years. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys. 
Peace. We're out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.